Hi, I'm Mike Sokol, and this is just a quick four-minute video on how to use a manual multimeter to measure pedestal voltage, in this case, 20, 30, and 50 amp outlets. And I'm also gonna use a three light tester and a little plug-in meter just to double check our measurements. Okay, let's go measure a pedestal. So I basically just have a little manual south wire digital multimeter over here. I'm gonna set it to the 600 volt AC scale after confirming that my black lead is in common. My red lead is over here in the volt ohms resistance section. And let's go ahead, we're gonna meter the 30 amp outlet first. Let's go ahead and just power these up. Be careful, this is all live voltage. Now, this should be neutral over here. This should be hot. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my probes in there and see I've got about 114, 115 volts. Yeah, I have my Variac here. Um, that all looks good. What we also wanna do is measure between the hot and the ground, which should be very close to 115 to 120-ish volts. Um, and there we go. We're seeing, eh, sometimes it's a little hard to get into, 115 volts, that's right. And over on this side, we should be very close to zero volts. And we are, uh, again, it can be up to three or four volts between neutral and ground, just depending on the load of the circuit. Now, sometimes it's not the easiest to get into these things. That's why I carry one of these, these little 30 amp TT30s on the one side to 15 amp one on the other side. It just makes it simpler. I can go ahead and just plug right in here and I can see I've got 115 volts. Um, and if I'm gonna measure between ground and hot, it should be again about 115, could be anywhere as low as 105. And if I'm looking between ground and neutral, in my case, I don't have any load on here, so it's gonna be zero volts, but in a campground could be as high as three or four volts, just depending on the actual uh, load in the circuit. Now, if we wanna go measure the 20 amp outlet, this is kind of tricky because this has got a little shutter in here to keep kids from poking things in. So what I generally do is carry something like this so that I can, you know, it's a, a regular cube tap so that I now have the ability to go do the same sort of measurements, like so. Dun, 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 dun. So we have a little higher voltage on that side. It's completely normal. Uh, same thing works. And you can use one of these little digital meters. So you got 121 volts here, along with using a, a three light tester, two ambers, no red. And again, over here, two ambers, no red, says the polarity is correct, voltage is reasonable. That's a good way to do it. Now on the 240 volt side here, it gets a little tricky because you gotta poke it in there. Um, you can see right now I've got 240 volts from side to side, and that's what you're expecting. You're either expecting somewhere close to 240 volts or it could be 208 volts uh, nominal if this is in fact a uh, Two, two legs of a three-phase circuit, um, but between neutral to hot on the one side, whoops, you should have 120 volts-ish, 124, and then neutral to the leg one over here, whoop, a little hard to get to, again, 117, 118 volts, and between ground and neutral should have very close to zero volts, but in a campground, could be as much as five volts, just depending again on the load of the circuit. Everybody kind of get the idea? Man meter set to 600 volts, 120 volts, 120 volts, 240 volts. If this measures zero from here to here, it's basically a bootlegged single pole circuit, which can burn up your neutral. More on that later. I'm Mike Sokol from RV Electricity, and thanks for watching.